Hi guys, if it's Tuesday, it's Down and Dirty Woodscraft. Stay with me. Okay guys, today we're going to talk about a bit of safety. Now when I was young, every time we were in the woods doing something like that, and I went to limb something, my granddaddy would drop a tree or whatever, and he'd holler, limb away. That was my cue. But he wasn't just saying limb away. You know, like you say, timber when it's fallen, you said limb away when it was on the ground. What he was warning me was way you're supposed to cut the limbs away. You cut away from you. Now, let me show you this. Now, on this tree right here is this limb. And I want to limb this limb. If this limb was coming straight at me like this, and I went to hit it, if I hit that tree, where's it coming? Right into me, isn't it? Like that. You limb away from yourself. But if I step over here, I'm putting a tree between me and that limb. So I want to get rid of this limb right here. I step back this way. Now when I hit, if that curves out, I'm not over there. I'm limbing away from me. Just like that. So as I go around the tree, I make a nice good hard hit. Move it out of the way. Go to the next one. Now I'm up to that limb I wanted to do. Now I'll hit right going straight down next to the tree. Nice and clean. By limbing this way, which way that knife's gonna come? That ax, that hatchet, it comes back to me. But by limbing that way, which way does it go? Away from me. So you limb away. When it hits the ground, you hear timber on the way down. You hear limb away when it's on the ground. You limb away from you. So that whenever I hit, if I miss, if it glances, it's not going to glance back to me because that tree trunk is between me. I'm going to hit and go away from me. If it's on the ground and I hit, it's going to go away from me. If I've got, say something like this. Got something like this in these little screws right here. Instead of me doing like this, do like that. Face it away from you and just pop it that way so it goes away from you. Don't put your hand down here because guess what? See, always above, always away, like that. Always above, always away. So that my hand's not going to get in the way. If I'm going to cut it all flush, I want to turn it. That little nub right there. If I struck from the bottom, what's going to happen? It's going to split off up into there. But if I strike from the top right there, it'll bust off smooth. So you always limb away. You go down grain. You go from base to top, which is upside down, you know, to cut smooth. And if you're just wanting to split them off, you can cut straight down. But always, 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 always limb away. Have something between you and that edge when you put that power to it. Because when I hit and it goes plunk, I don't want it hitting my leg. Now this is true with kukris. This is true with hatchets, machetes, axes, any swinging edge thing. Limb away from you. That's your safety tip for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. Until next time, I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.